January data, February data, March data, April data. Oh, you're wondering what I'm up to? I'm just combining data. I wish it was that simple to combine the data in Excel like the way we could stack up the Lego bricks. Do you know that Excel actually has such a feature using which you can take data sets, similar files that are in the same folder and then set up an automation process through which you can combine all of them and get the consolidated data? Let me show that to you. Here is my folder that has all the Excel files that I want to combine. Notice that each month we have one file but the format of these files is same. Every file has the same kind of data. Let's open one of these files so you can review this. Within each file we have a header row with our company name and corporate logos, some blank rows and extra information. The real data starts from row number 6 and we got this data that has NHS ID, names, email, date, diagnosis and payment status. And the worksheet is named as data. To combine the files we will open blank excel workbook and go to the data ribbon and from here locate the get and transform data options. These are the ones that are available within excel through which you can set up such folder combine automation rule. So from here we go to get data from file from folder. Navigate to the folder and just select the folder name itself and then click on open. This will list all the files within your excel folder. If you are happy with that listing you can then choose one of these options. There is an option to combine directly but because our data is not 100% clean there is some blank rows on the top and headers that we do not need we would need to use combine and transform data option. So that's what I will select. If your data is clean and there is nothing else in the file, you just want to combine everything as is, you can directly use combine and load option. This will open up the combine files dialog and here it will show you one of the files. So in this case, it's show, showing me the first file and then shows the data here and then asks you, is this what you want? Now this is what we want but we do not need these extra columns or these extra rows on the top but this is pretty much what it is that we need. So we'll select that and then click OK. The screen will flicker multiple times and eventually the Power Query editor will open up. This is a screen through which I can tell Excel how to clean up the data. But first let's see if it has actually combined the data or not. Notice that we are right now looking at August 2021. But if I scroll down, I can see that it has taken the data from July as well as September and then combined everything nicely one under another. All with a simple click. We do however have some problems with this data. To start off, let's just say we don't need any of these columns, the null ones in the beginning as well as the source name which is my file name. I don't need all of that because we do have a date here that tells us on which date that patient visited our clinic. So I'm going to select the column 2, hold down shift, select the first column. This way I can select all of these columns, right click and then say remove columns. Those columns will be removed from the final processor data. Notice that none of the columns will be deleted from your original files but here Excel kind of sets a rule saying that when combining the data and bringing that final data to Excel, do not bring those three columns. Next up, we have some null values on the top. We do not need them either. So we can pick either of the first name or last name columns. Let's select the first name column and then using this filter icon, uncheck the null values. So any name that is null, that means the cell is blank. We do not need that in the final data. Boom. I think it is already looking pretty good. But there's a couple more problems. Number one, we do not have proper headings on the columns. So we would like to take the headings from the very first file and then use them as the column headings. Notice that when I set this up like this, there will be further headings down in the file. So for example, if I go to August, oh sorry, July, we'll have one more. Likewise, if I go all the way down to September, I'll have one more. And if there is a new file added to the folder, it will also have its own headings. First what we will do is we'll go to the home and then say use first row as a header option. This way the very first row will become the column headers. Next we will delete any subsequent NHS ID from the data. So we'll click on the filter, 
go all the way down and uncheck the NHS ID. This is good. We can now load up this data. If you want, you can apply some data type conversion. So for example, this is a date. So I'm gonna right click on this change type to a date. This way when it goes to Excel, it will appear as a date. Likewise, if you do not want to see any specific information, maybe you don't want to see the diagnosis, you can also right click on that and then remove that. And this is my final table that I want to combine and see in my Excel. At this point, our job is done. We can load it. But before loading, if you want, you can give it a name. Instead of monthly files, we will say all data and then close and load. And Excel will load up all the data from those three files in the folder in one go here. How awesome is this? Now, at this point, you might be thinking, this is super cool. But what happens if I put some more files into the folder? So let's test that out. So I have copied the October data. Let's paste this into the folder. So now we have four files including the October data. The important thing to keep in mind here is whenever you are putting more files into the folder, they should all have the same format like that scene in Big Bang Theory where everybody dresses up as Flash. Oh no! Oh no! Make me for the fastest man alive! Yeah, so same format, different data. So now we can come back to Excel Notice that we have loaded up 233 rows of data. We can right click on either the query here in the queries and connection or this table itself, right click and then say refresh. So let's trigger that refresh. This will again go to the folder, run the process and now it has added the October data. We have 300 rows. You can go to the date and you can see that all the October rows are pulled in without you doing any extra work. Everything works beautifully. You will get one final consolidated data here. And you could then use this to build a pivot report or write some formulas or make some graphs, whatever you want. If this is your first time learning about Power Query, then I highly recommend checking out my detailed in-depth tutorial on Power Query. It is linked on the screen. For something that is a bit shorter and practical and immediately applicable tips, check out my Power Query tips playlist that is also shown on the screen. I'll catch you in either of those places. Bye-bye.